all on my lane. Hey, yeah. You ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way. Hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game. Uh, the boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C note. Switch and keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on, Bistro family? Yeah, Welcome back to my channel. Now, today we got the most amazing Applebee's inspired fajitas. So, the first thing you want to do is get you some peppers together. And I got an orange bell pepper followed by a green bell pepper. Now, you can use any bell pepper you want. Make sure you use green and the other color. Pretty much up to you. So, the first thing you want to do is get this thing seeded and then cut into julienne strips. And I did the long julienne strips because, like I said, this is an Applebee's inspired uh, fajitas and I tried to be as authentic to the recipe as possible or what I thought the recipe would be Then we're gonna get a, a whole yellow onion and we're gonna julienne that as well And once you get your peppers and onions together Go ahead and set that aside and we'll begin to saute that here in a second in a second But then we want to get our um, steak working So we got a flank steak here and this is USDA choice flank steak and we're gonna cut it in half and just because the pan that we're cooking it on is small, we don't have a grill. Then we're gonna go ahead and season it up. Um, you do see I added some garlic salt to it. And after the garlic salt, we went on with our taco seasoning. If you need help making a taco seasoning, I'll link my um, New York Strip Taco video down below and you can check out that taco seasoning. Um, and I'll walk you through step by step on making that taco seasoning. But for the sake of making this video short, I just link that video down below. And the same thing in our um, New York strip tacos, we added a big squeeze of lime juice, and that's what's gonna help break down the fibers in this meat and make it extra tender. Now, remember you can't leave that um, lime juice in there too long because it'll begin to ceviche the steak. So this is a quick marinade. We do like 30 minutes. So while that's marinating, we're gonna go ahead and get our peppers and onions sauteed up. And I'm sauteing this on high heat with a little canola oil. And I'm gonna season these peppers and onions with the same exact seasoning I seasoned the steak with. So we got our taco seasoning and then our garlic salt. Like I said, you need help making that taco seasoning, check in the description box below and you will see my New York Strip Street Taco video and I'll walk you through step by step on how to cook those um, or make that taco seasoning. Now, we're gonna go ahead and saute this up. Now you don't wanna do a long saute because you still want these things to keep their integrity, especially um, when we put plating it at the end, we're gonna plate it on a hot plate. So yeah, just cook it just long enough to get them a little bit translucent, but that's it. Once that's done, go ahead and pop it out. If you got a lot of oil left in the pan, pour some of it out, but if you don't, um, add a little bit more and we're gonna begin to sear our steak off. And the steak pretty much, you can cook to temperature, whatever you like. I went in between medium and medium well because my family don't like medium rare. So, but uh, the temperature is up to you. And remember, we're gonna place this on directly onto a uh, um, hot cast iron skillet and it can be very hot. So uh, if you go too far here, it's still gonna cook up on the um, hot cast iron at the end on plating. So once you get that steak the way you like it, you see mine, like I said, it's between medium and medium well, we call it medium um, plus. I'm gonna take that steak out and allow this steak to rest for at least 10 minutes. Um, and that's what I did. And I know you wanna just cut into it, but if you cut into it now, all your juices will pour out. But allow it to rest for 10 minutes. And after it has rested, you see me going ahead and um, slicing the beef. Um, and that step there is just to ensure that your steak is gonna stay juicy. All right, once we get that steak, um, sliced up we're gonna go ahead and season it up again and that's some of our compound butter I'm also going to link that compound butter video down for you um, below but that's gonna get this steak a lot more extra flavor and then after that compound butter we're going on with another big squeeze of lime because we want that good acidic note uh, yeah. and to these fajitas uh, yeah. followed by that's some fresh idea. cilantro so um, yes, or coriander um, for my UK people out there but once we get that mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and stir it up. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and plate it up. So get you a hot cast iron um, in the oven. And once it's ready and you see it smoking, go ahead and begin to plate it up. 
so y'all hear that sizzle i left that sound on for y'all to hear that sizzle and know that yeah this is how it sounds when they bring it to your table at applebee's or chili's or whoever makes fajitas and they bring them out on them sizzling skillets you know it sounds exactly like this but we got our peppers and onions down then we're going to make a little nest for our beef so go ahead and get all your peppers and onions on there and you see oh man look at that all that steam and come on and get you a fajita facial <laughs> But yeah, we got all our peppers and onions down there. We're going on directly with our beef. And that beef is so good and tender and succulent. And it's so flavorful. I'm telling you, by adding the compound butter and the extra lime at the end, it just brightens it all up. And go ahead and put the rest of that juice on there. Then we're going on top with a little more cilantro just for the color presentation and some of that cilantro pop. And there you have it, man, the most amazing uh, Applebee's inspired fajitas. I like these inspired videos because you guys really like um, to see, I guess, our rendition on how the restaurants do it and know that, that and knowing that you could do these same recipes in the comfort of your home and save a lot of money, especially in the midst of this uh, pandemic and these um, price gouging. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, man. The most amazing Applebee's inspired fajitas. I want to give you guys these recipes so you can know exactly how to do it and knowing that you can do it as well. And these actually taste a lot better than what you would get there because you know it's consistent and you know what you're putting into it. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for checking this video out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. The most amazing Applebee's inspired fajitas from the bistro, man. I'm Chef Cornelius. I catch y'all on the rebound. I'm out. Oh yeah, hit that subscribe button, by the way. <laughs> I'm out.